Hello, yes, it's me, Holly Agambar, back with some Tottenham news. And today I've got to report the Harry Kane rumour is on the rise again of him going to Madrid. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe so you never miss a video. Yes, ah, uh, it's Holly's Hotspurs back with another one. Chatting all things Tottenham, we're second to none. Special guests every time, if it's win, lose or draw. The passion is high like Harry Kane when he scores. Or when Lloris makes a world-class save. We got Hoybier running the mid every game. Settle down, stick around, share your thoughts with the panel. And make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Coys. Yes, ladies and gents, every summer we get this rumour that Harry Kane will be leaving us and going elsewhere. This one, kind of a bit like... With circumstances, it could maybe happen. And that is the fact that Real Madrid are coming after him and the fact that they have let their striker go, Benzema, elsewhere. Uh, it means that they will be pursuing him and putting every little bit of pressure, I quote, that they will try and sign him this summer. Uh, as we know, pundits love to jump on the Harry Kane transferring rumours. And many have said, including Michael Richards, that if Madrid come calling, you go. Um, which, okay, I kind of see. Uh, we're kind of like Madrid's feeder team. And I have a big heartache when I see the likes of Modric and Bell when they went there. Um, but Kane going there, I'm not too sure. The only thing I'm thinking is the fact that obviously Kane only has one year left on his Tottenham contract and then he could leave next season on a free. So our options are we let him go at a fee or we give him a new contract uh, or he runs his contract down. So it's going to be very interesting how this all pans out as we know if a bid comes in is Daniel Levy going to let him go I don't know and as we all know uh, to replace Kane you need to replace him with a couple of other players um, on top of all the other mess that we need to do this summer so it's going to be very difficult uh, in terms of Kane for me I'd love him to stay I see him as a man that's a one club man in terms of He's got so much respect, and I don't know how because he hasn't won anything with us. But for me, he lives and breathes Spurs. And to many, I don't think legacy is a thing in this day and age of, of football players. But to him, I think he's one in a million of that kind of calibre. Um, also, he's got a young kid on the way. Uh, so uprooting your whole family to Spain... I don't know. The fact that he's only, what, is it 40 goals away from being the all-time goal scorer in the Prem is another reason why I think he might stay. So it's going to be an interesting uh, couple of months, shall we say, in this summer transfer window. Um, but it's also been rumoured that he will be in the Spurs kit tomorrow when it gets launched. Uh, but many have reminded me that Gareth Bale did exactly the same and then left from Madrid. So I don't want history repeating itself. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on the Harry Kane rumours, whether it's a load of rubbish or whether there could be a little stint of truth in there and you are a little bit worried that this actually might happen. Uh, we'll be dissecting this and more Monday at 7pm because Holly Soxmas Live is back for a transfer video special. I'll be joined by guests again. It's been, it's been a little while. It's actually been one week and a bit. But I'm back uh, to talk everything that's been going going on but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment sections below don't forget to subscribe and like and until next time come new spurs